Hey guys, how you going? Today I'm going to teach you how to unbrick a brick PSP. You get to prove that it's bricked. So you can see the light comes on. No screen, no button lights here. And then in a moment this will turn off. So just wait for a moment. Just wait for it to turn off. There we go. So it turns off by itself. Okay. Sorry guys, I've lost my cover so I just have to stick it down now. I've ordered another one, it should be here in a couple of days. Okay, there are two tools that you're going to need to get. To have. With you. Okay, the first being, of course, Pandora's battery. The second being Magic Memory Stick. Now don't be like, worried, Magic Memory Stick is just a normal memory stick just with special files on it that you can download online from any site. But I'll give you the link to the best program which is yeah, the best program which is called PSB Grader and I use the version 8 this is your Pandora's battery the one I suggest is this one what it can be is this is a like a level checker it can also it can be used as a Pandora's battery or a normal battery so as you can see what you do is what I do is I just hold down this for eight seconds hang on start again so wait, I'll count it for you one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you just gotta wait a bit more, and there you go, it'll start flashing. When it does that, it's in Pandora's mode. So then you just simply insert it. Well, first of all, you insert the memory card into the holder after you've done the files and everything. And this whole process takes about 20 minutes, in, about 10 minutes, including all the files. Then you put it in. Okay. Now, depending in PSP Grader, I'll give you the links. I'm not, I don't have it on my this computer, so I can't really show you how to do it. But I'll create another video. But on PSP Grader, there will be an option that you can select a trigger. A trigger means. Okay, so let's show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna turn it off. Because at the moment, if you at the moment, if I just turn it on like that. Nothing will happen. Nothing. To get it to actually work, all right. I don't know how I'm going to do this, guys. Sorry. I just figured out that I've got to hold a trigger. Okay, now my trigger is this button right here. Hold button. So I've got to hold this. I've got to hold the old button on all this. And then this will come up, this screen will come up, and it will say install 5.0 M33, which is a custom firmware, or just install the normal one. So I'm just going to install, so I'm going to just install the normal original firmware. Loading, formatting, it takes about, roughly about 5 to 10 minutes. Really it is pretty quick considering it's just fixing, and then I'll show you. But it's like when it's done. Just give me a sec, it shouldn't be too long. And I'm not skipping this process, I'm showing you exactly how quick this process is. So I'm just gonna put you guys down, won't be a moment. So if you would like a PSP unbricked, I'm thinking of opening my own business on this. It costs you five, ten dollars, pretty cheap. Although when, for, when I first got it, when I accidentally bricked it ages ago, before I knew all this stuff about Pandora and that, I ran up Sony and they were going to charge me $155. I was like, eh, no way. So then I bought and fixed it all up myself. So yeah, five bucks. It's cheaper than a Pandora's battery. I bought one for about $100. They're pretty expensive. This one was really expensive. Uh, the memory card is really expensive. Although, you should have a memory card anyway. But Anyway, if you want it done, five dollars, just contact me at Jordan. So J O R D A N underscore P E N M A N underscore one five two at hotmail dot com. I'll leave that link in the description, or just actually no, just pay private message me. And yeah, we can see what we can have and see what we can do. It's almost done. Okay, it's all done. So now what I'll do is I'll just click this button to shut the system down. Push this button. 
which will just bring it back into normal mode. No flashing lights means normal mode. I'll turn it on and it'll boot up just like normal. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Have a nice day.